The legalization of abortion has been a demand by women's rights groups in Argentina for years. Many medical professionals agree. Dr. Rosa Reina, who works in this hospital in the city of La Plata, says thousands of abortions are already happening in a clandestine way, and women with complications end up here. This is a matter of public health, because when we have a high death rate of productive women, of mothers, because many of the women that have an abortion have children and they may die. This is also about inequality, because a woman with money can have a safe abortion, but a woman without resources may lose her life. It is estimated that around 500,000 abortions happen every year in Argentina. But misoprostol, one of the drugs doctors prescribe to terminate a pregnancy, is expensive, so many women resort to crude, desperate measures, like inserting probes in their bodies to induce an abortion. Patients arrive here with organ failure and the characteristics of a septic abortion, heart and kidney failure, and in shock, they are very serious cases and with a high death rate. Every year thousands of women are hospitalized because of complications with an abortion. Some of them lose their lives. Doctors working in this hospital tell us that when women arrive here, they're afraid to say that they try to terminate their pregnancy because it is illegal and they're afraid of being reported to the police. Argentina's Congress is set to vote on the legalization of abortion. It's the divisive issue in this mostly Catholic country. In 2018, the bill passed the lower house, but failed to pass the Senate. Women's groups are hoping this year the outcome will be different. The president of the nation, Alberto Fernandez, sent a bill that corresponds to his campaign. At present, lawmakers are taking their positions and hopefully we can finish 2021 with legalized abortion that is secure and free in Argentina. But resistance to the bill runs deep. Pope Francis is Argentinian and has repeatedly opposed any attempts to legalize abortion. This is a campaign promise by Alberto Fernandez, so it shouldn't surprise the church's hierarchy or the pope, with whom the government has a good relationship. The church will go against this, like they did with the same-sex marriage. The Catholic Church has been against divorce, reproductive rights, distribution of contraceptives and sex education. The mostly conservative sectors see women as objects and not as people with rights. Rights that women in Argentina are hoping will soon be enshrined into law. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.